All right, what is up YouTube and welcome to the vlog. All right, yeah, so decided to do my Sunday cardio outdoors today. Um, yeah, had a footy game yesterday back at Cavi, only took me two weeks to miss the boys. Um, they gave me a text saying they needed needed a goalkeeper again, so I'm back with it for another season, so that can't wait. And um, yeah, we, we bet Tech 2-0, or 1-0 yesterday, sorry. So good, we derby win for the weekend. But yeah, thought I'd get outdoors for a Sunday. Um, hope you guys like the footage of us walking up Mount Cargill. We're at Butters Peak at the moment. I'll show you the wee scenery. So yeah, beautiful Sunday. Thought I'd get outside um, and get some sun because you know this this whiteness doesn't get very much sun these days. Being at work all the time, so yeah, thought I would shoot a little bit of footage outside um, and show you what Dunedin has to offer for the people that don't live in Dunedin. Um, I have a wee talk coming up at the end of this vlog about what and how I got into the fitness industry and why I got into the fitness industry and how I love it so much but also the struggles and a few pointers that I can give anyone about kind of business and all that kind of stuff as well. So yeah, definitely hold on till the end of this vlog um, and you will find some tips about how to get into the fitness industry if you've ever been wondering about it um, and why I think you should always, always, always follow your ideas no matter how silly people think they are. So yeah, enjoy the rest of the vlog. You guys just appreciated me climbing down a rock face one handed because I needed footage. So it would have been funny if I fell down because you would have seen all of it, but apart from that, apparently I can climb down a rock face one handed. So, learned a new skill. I right, finally made it back in one piece about 10k later, and we made it. It was a long time underestimated how steep those I've been on it like four times and I still underestimate how big that is um, but yeah we fun time to do on a Sunday I'm gonna end the vlog here because um, all I'm gonna do is drive home um, and have some dinner and then <coughs> yeah have dinner um, do some work edit this video and upload it but remember after here will be a wee talk about how I got into the fitness industry um, and why I think it is important to never let anyone stop you from achieving your goals and never let anyone say that you have a dumb idea until the day that you fail at that idea. And then you can say it's dumb. But yeah, tune in after this, otherwise I will see you in the next one. And I am back. So, thank you for staying this long at the end of this video. If you have, please leave a like and a comment on how you found the footage today because I've done something different. I'm using a different editing software now so hopefully the rendering and color correction and filtering and all that good stuff um, is a little bit better than it has been in my previous vlog. So if it is, comment down below and leave me a like and make sure you subscribe um, for more videos Monday, Wednesday and Friday 11am New Zealand time. So yeah, what I wanted to talk about now is a topic that I get a lot. Um, I, my clients ask me Friends and family have kind of talked about it as well, but um, I wanted to explain how and why I got into the fitness industry and why I wanted to be a PT and why I wanted to work in the environment that I work in every single day. Um, so first of all, I'm a keen football player. I play for Cavisham um, and I said I wasn't playing football this year, but they've asked me to come back um, as just a reserve goalkeeper <coughs> and as cover because um, I've got a lot of experience under my belt. Um, so yeah, when I was... Since I was about five, I've been playing like competitive sport 
so football mainly. I did play rugby for about two or three games, but you can see how skinny I am. I didn't last very long. Um, so yeah, got my football boots on and played football competitively since I probably was about five. I, I got into rep teams in the Waikato and started in Hamilton, um, then moved into Dunedin, played rep teams there, and then I tried my luck at... Sem and my memory card died, but yeah, like I was saying, um, moved to Wellington when I was about 16 or 17 um, with my parents to try and make it um, as a pro footballer, or try and make the next step from Dunedin, because um, I thought Dunedin at the time was a little bit too small and didn't have enough opportunities there, um, and didn't think I was getting the right exposure that I should have. So moved to Wellington for about two years um, and started studying there as well. I did health sci, if anyone knows in, in Dunedin, they do health sci here as well. It's probably one of the biggest ones they do. Wellington has an alternative there as well um, because I wanted to study alongside trying to make it as a footballer because I think both them, both um, even, the, even themselves out. Unfortunately, couldn't get contracts up there. Understood that it wasn't my time and it wasn't my future. So I thought to myself, what am I going to do? Um, a lot of people my age at that time, I was about 18, 19, have the same thoughts um, and I actually had an opportunity to work full time at a gas station. Um, my parents organised it via a family friend and I said to myself, do I want to get into a job like this now um, and be stuck in it for kind of the rest of my life or do I take the risk, move back to Dunedin where I know I have a lot of friends and family and footballing team so I can still pursue football. Um, plus they have a really, really good program. Aidan Summerfield um, and the team at Tiger Polytechnic do probably one of the best personal training programs in New Zealand, I think, anyway. So I said to myself, screw it, I don't want to take a job that I'm going to have no future in or no potential to grow in. Um, let's take a gamble, let's move back to Dunedin <coughs> and pursue personal training. I've always been fascinated with the gym, I've always been fascinated that literally you can look at someone like myself and change any aspect that you want, whether it's weight gain, weight loss, um, shoulders, back, chest, anything you can change um, regardless to functional movements and training. So I was really fascinated about that. I'm a people person, I've always been friendly, no matter who you are, no matter what gender, what race, whatever, I am the friendliest person you could possibly ever meet and I will give you the time of day every single time. So that kind of hinders me sometimes, but back on track, I got everything moved within the next few days after that decision um, to Dunedin and I started living by myself and pursuing personal training. So yeah, it was quite easy for the first year because I had friends and um, friends to help me out and I got, I think like within the first two months I started working at Absolute Health and Fitness. Again, it was a decision on like the last day of my rotation at Absolute, I chucked my CV on the front desk, gave it to reception and I said, why not? Um, I'm, I, I think I'm the right person for the job in terms of that it was gym instructing at the time and literally two weeks later on my my birthday in June um, Rachel rang me and said do you want a job and I was like I'd love to so that began my fitness journey absolute like I said I will always be um, you know in, in debt to them because they've given me the opportunity of becoming who I am now um, and without those guys I would be probably nothing right now because the opportunities they have given me um, it is endless and stuff like that. So, okay, so the first, done my diploma, graduated, coming into, out of the gym instructing role and into the personal training role. And again, I made a decision, Rich and Rach said there was an opportunity, um, and do you want a job as a PT? And I sat myself down and I said, am I physically ready? Because a lot of PTs jump in too quickly um, and they, they don't understand that, it, you know, it's a, it's a long kind of hour job and it takes a lot of commitment. You can't go out partying all the time. You have to be doing work majority of the time. So I said to myself, made another decision. I got to another point. So, so far I've said to myself, okay, I don't want to work at a gas station. I'm taking a risk, um, and moving to Dunedin by myself, no family, no whatever, I made the decision to come to PTing, that's worked out, so that decision worked out for me, why would the PT not work out for me? So I said to myself, from day one, um, I want to have everything, Facebook page, website, um, Instagram, every platform functioning um, at the, the level that I think it should be functioning at, compared to what was in the industry at the time. I knew I had to be big on social media, I knew I had to be even more outgoing than I already was, because... I'm the new dot, you know, the new new cat on the block kind of thing. If that if that makes sense to everyone out there, so yeah, started started PTing and I started from the ground up, and I literally for the first two or three weeks, I was you know doing eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve hour days, 
um, whether it was at work or at home, I was cold calling everyone, I was making my Facebook posts, I was making a newsletter, I was posting, 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 um, and making sure that everyone knew who I was and that I'm now in this fitness industry personal training role. Because, again, it came down to a decision of me jumping jumping the gun or am I moving down to Dunedin? Could have gone either way. But the main message from that was that I took a risk and I made sure that I believed in myself. So yeah, everything that's come from the PTing and even from that decision, I made that decision about not having that gas, gas station role and that to last year, jumped towards last year of November and I won um, up and coming personal trainer of the year. So I, I bid out every PT in New Zealand that was under two years of experience and I, I won that award. So you know, if there's any message that I wanted to get out of this, how did I get into the fitness industry, is really how I got out of it, got into it, was because I took a risk. Um, and I think the biggest thing I see now is that people aren't taking risks because they're scared of not getting the rewards they want. But if you look at the likes of Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, um, look at the popular YouTube channels at the moment, or look at the popular Facebook, like, you know, they wouldn't have just sat there and said, oh, what if... They would have just gone straight in um, and they would just would have given it their everything as well. So as long as you, the people looking behind, like watching this video right now, believe in the idea that you have, there's nothing stopping you. And that's another thing I wanted to touch on as well. You know, ever since I've been a PT, there's been, you know, I'm on every single platform. I'm on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube now. Um, and there is people that give me stick about being on it or giving stick because they don't believe that it's worth my time um, but you know I believe it's worth my time and I believe I can make it work um, like I have my Facebook page and my Instagram that's always growing on a daily basis now it's time for YouTube and it's another risk you know I spend two or three hours a night kind of editing these videos for you guys and posting them and then again I'm putting everything online you know my whole entire life whether it's with people that I'm you know a girl that I'm seeing or whether it's a um, you know, a work drinks or a dinner or friends and family, I've got the camera out all the time and the workouts, you know, people around the gym look at me and like, why are you recording yourself? Um, but my overall message is that I want to be strong in every platform so that no matter what, someone can find a, you know, a tip in there or someone can find an idea or a, a message like now, if someone's watching this YouTube channel and realizes that I took risks to get where I am and look at the reward, yeah, I won up and coming personal trainer of the year, I've got awards that I want to win this year, I've got places that I want to be next year. If anyone sitting at home right now gets the message that in order to take risks, um, to get the rewards, you have to, in order to to be in the position that I am now, all I did was take risks. Yes, they calculated and yes, I knew I would, I had the belief behind me, but at the end of the day, like if you've got a mess, if you've got an idea or, or a, an, an idea or a company that you want to start, the only person that's going to be able to do that is you. No matter what anyone else says, no matter what anyone else does, if you believe that you can do it, you can do it and you'll make it work. There will always be, in fact, this is a message that I tell myself on a daily basis, the more people that don't believe in me and the more people that give me crap or stick is my idea working even more. Because if they're giving me crap, they've obviously watched my video or they've obviously seen me on Facebook or they're obviously jealous that they haven't taken the risk. So my idea, in fact, is working. My marketing is working and my plan is getting achieved. So the more people that hate you and the more people that give you crap on a daily basis, the better it is for you and the more you are achieving. So yeah, that's my fitness. That's how I got in the fitness industry. Started in, in Dunedin, moved to Wellington for football. Didn't realize it was working out. So took a risk, came down by myself, did the personal training course, which I highly recommend for anyone out there that's looking for one, a Tiger Polytechnic. Um, diploma in personal training is probably one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life but it came from a risk and it came from um, me making that decision to come down then after the PT like after the personal training course I decided to come become a PT took a gamble could have worked out could have not made it work out got the award last year justifies every single that time that I stood up and got that award and walked down the aisle it justified every decision I've ever made. And I knew from then on that any decision I make, as long as I solely believe in it, there's no second guessing, me not second guessing my own idea, it will become true. So yeah.
that's how I got in the fitness industry through different decisions throughout my life made me at this point right now loving PTing, loving seeing my clients um, killing it at the moment um, and yeah but yeah so hopefully you took a message out of this talk I really really enjoy these talks if you've liked these talks comment below and give me a topic to talk about next time and I will do that otherwise make sure you like share and subscribe